is A to Z with Mark Zinno, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta, and it starts now. Good afternoon. Welcome to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta, where today I ask you, it only matters if you win it. Welcome in. We are live here on this Friday. Actually, I should say good morning because uh, we're doing this a little bit earlier today. I have a venture to get to uh, this afternoon, but I wanted to thank you guys for making this entire week a great week with Locked On Sports Atlanta. Appreciate you guys uh, listening to A to Z. Give me a follow on Twitter at Mark Zinner. Of course, follow the entire Locked On Sports Atlanta network at Locked On ATL. Uh, we have a very interesting question I want to pose concerning the Atlanta Hawks coming up. Plus, the Braves will start their second half tonight, and it'll be a big start for Charlie Morton. All that coming up today here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. This is A to Z. All right, let's start with the big news from yesterday as SEC Media Days wrapped up. Of course, we get Kirby Smart uh, agreeing to a huge 10-year extension for more than 110 million million dollars ah uh, man when he took this job who would have bet on kirby smart getting that kind of contract speaking of betting this segment brought to you by our good friends at betonline.net um so kirby smart gets this huge extension and he is uh you know going to be with the georgia bulldogs till 2031 aka he'll be here as long as he wants uh he can stay as long as he likes unless things turn horribly wrong for a really long time um he's got a job he's pretty secure in his future here in Athens. Uh, and one of the things that Kirby Smart did was uh, give Stetson Bennett a chance to play quarterback. And uh, I've seen this question tossed around um, for the past couple of days on Sports Talk Radio here in Atlanta. And believe it or not, and, and I mean this genuinely, I was having this literal conversation on a group text thread I have. One of my my friends is from the Georgia area, and he is a doesn't live here anymore, but he's a huge Bulldogs fan. And um, he uh, was was posing the hypothetical about making a bet on Stetson Bennett to win the Heisman. To win the Heisman. Now Stetson Bennett to win the Heisman is 125 to one. Uh, he is a long shot set of odds. You know, comparatively speaking, last year, you know, when JT Daniels uh, took the starting job at the beginning of the year, he was one of the Heisman favorites. Uh, and I say all this to say not necessarily that you know whether you're a favorite or a long shot, it doesn't really matter. Um, I say all that to say that sometimes figuring out what this is going to look like at the end of the season is very tough, given what you think it would look like at the beginning of the year. Now, I am somebody who has kind of uh, sort of been down is not the right word. I've been optimistic. I've been guarded, I should say, on Stetson Bennett. I think he's an OK quarterback. I don't think he does anything great. I don't think he does anything flashy. I think he's very consistent. I think he's very simple. I think he's very uh, secure at the position. Um, but I don't know that Stetson Bennett makes anybody around him markedly better. Uh, I think he's surrounded by really good talent, as most of the players in the SEC are, uh, and he works with them and works with them well. Um, you know, I, I think Brock Bowers, maybe the best tight end in all of college football, is a huge asset for Stetson Bennett, and so that makes his life a little bit easier. But in order to win the Heisman, and I've seen people throw out the numbers and everything else, winning the Heisman is – Two parts. You got to win it early, but you also got to win it late. And if you're going to win one of those, you better win it. Win it better win it late, not early. Now, uh, what I know of Kirby Smart and what I've seen from Kirby Smart in his entire tenure here is generally a very conservative-minded coach. Um, he has his bread and butter that's running the football, that's playing defense, and that got him a national title. Uh, the best defense in the country got him a national title. But there is some thought that that could change this year with another year of Stetson Bennett quarterback. I don't know if I necessarily agree, but I think there will be a very good test early on to tell you how much he will let Stetson Bennett go out and try to win games on his own. And I'll tell you what that test is in a second. Just a word from our friends on betonline.net, your number one source for all of your sports betting info and needs. Find the latest sports developments, league reviews, news, and more, including everything about the Major League Baseball season. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering information, including live betting, esports, and scores. And don't forget, betonline.net remains the best spot for all your sports, sports scores, podcasts, and news this season. 
BetOnline.net is the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite sports and events, including MMA, boxing, and golf. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about the trends and the action. BetOnline, where the game starts. Now, one game I will bet on is the season opener, Georgia against Oregon. Georgia is an 18 and a half point favorite in this game. And I'm bringing this to light, not because you know, I, I love gambling and I'm a degenerate, which both of those may be true, but I bring all this to light to say that I think Oregon covers that spread for several reasons. One, uh, in the beginning of the year, offense typically lags behind defense. That's generally true for most football teams. It takes a little while for the offense to find a rhythm. Two, uh, Kirby Smart does not run up the score against his former assistants or coaches that he highly respects. Dan Lanning, obviously coaching Oregon right now, came from Georgia last year. So I don't expect Kirby to be, you know, lining up shotgun with uh, 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter if he's up by 21 points. It's probably not his deal. Uh, I've just never seen him do that before. And lastly, every time and any time Kirby Smart gets into a game against a high-level opponent, the first half of the game at a minimum is super, super conservative, meaning that he's willing to go three and out, pump the ball, and put his defense on the field. That's what that means. So I don't think that he's going to be able to blow out Oregon. And that general philosophy is something I think will hold Stetson Bennett back. You know, when Georgia gets up 28-0 and, and they're in the second half, or it's 35-0, you know what they're not going to be doing back and throwing? Why? Because they'll hand the ball off to their second string running back and their third string running back and their fourth string running back, and they will just eat up clock and give the ball away, and they'll dink and dunk down the field. So if Stetson Bennett is going to put up gaudy numbers, he's going to have to do so in the first half, and he's going to have to throw touchdowns in the first half early enough and to get up 28 nothing. And somebody talked to me about, well, Alabama's up 28 nothing in the second half. They, well, the, the difference is, is one, Alabama got up 28 nothing because Bryce Young threw the ball everywhere. That's why. That's not the case for Georgia. That's not who they are. Georgia's a running football team. They always will be until somebody comes along and changes that philosophy from a market standpoint. And I just don't see that happening under Kirby Smart unless something dramatically changes and the quarterback changes. I'm not downing Stetson Bennett's talents or his ability to play the position. I think he's good. But when it comes to winning the Heisman, um, that's a whole different scenario. Furthermore, uh, he can put up great numbers. And will he still be recognized with the likes of C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, and whoever else may be out there, whether it's Jackson Smith and Jigbo, I think has got a good shot to win it if that's a long shot pick. Um, I, I, I just don't – look, getting invited to New York is not enough. That, that doesn't cash that ticket as a long shot. He's got to win the thing. That, that's what really matters is winning the trophy. So you can get invited to New York because you have good numbers, but that's not going to get you there. Kenny Pickett got invited to New York. He didn't win the Heisman. Did he? No. Did he? No. No, he finished third. <laughs> took me a second. I'm like, wait a minute. So anyway, uh, the point simply being that getting there isn't enough. And I don't know where this conversation came from. Maybe it's because Georgia has national title hopes and they, they, they could repeat again. They could go 12-0 uh, before they hit the college football playoff. And all those things may be true. But still, Stetson Bennett winning the Heisman does not really seem like a plausible thing at this point in time. It would take a season that nobody saw coming from Stetson Bennett. I mean, there's just there, there's not a track record to prove that Stetson Bennett is going to throw for 3,500 yards, uh, you know, 30 plus touchdowns, and keep it under eight interceptions. What, what is the track record for you to believe that? I, I don't say it to down the kid. I really don't. I just say it because, well, it's a matter of fact at this point. And this does not preclude Georgia from winning the national title. It doesn't preclude Georgia from being very good again this year. It's just a question of him winning the Heisman. It's probably not going to happen. At least that's my take. All right, coming up next, uh, a very important question about the Atlanta Hawks because this goes beyond what is on the court to maybe diagnose the problems. That's next right here on A to Z on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube, and wherever you get your podcast, you search Locked On Sports Atlanta. Stay with me. Be right back. 